The Association of National Accountants International Fraud Summit, a dialogue being held against the backdrop of how fraud and other related activities have shortchanged Africa's financial resources and resulted in gross underdevelopment. The nation is almost unanimous in decrying this canker worm, and most have at some time or the other wished the economy at least less of it. Yet the scourge still rages on. Development is impaired not as a result of scarcity of natural resources, but as a result of what I have tagged the monster called fraud. The international community also lends its voice to how Nigeria can indeed free itself from the prevalence of fraud and corrupt practices. I do not need to remind the esteemed accounting professionals and other stakeholders here that the bulk of corruption offenses have to do with fraud and embezzlement. That is why this summit is particularly important. This brings us to the role of professional bodies in the fight against corruption. The legal framework for fraud prevention, tax fraud, as well as the role of anti graft agencies in fraud detection and prevention are some of the summit's sub-themes. Section 419 of the Advanced Fee Fraud Act need to be reviewed. If you commit fraud in Europe or the US, you will certainly be jailed. However, what happens when you commit same malfeasance in Nigeria is that you will be conferred with several chieftaincy titles. The politician and his hapless supporter, the judge and the lawyer, the pastor and his parishioner, none can remain untainted by this stigma. Beyond creating awareness for fraud, the forum is also seeking workable solutions to preventing combating and investigating fraud in all of its ramifications. This is part of its efforts at supporting the fight against corruption in Nigeria. Lara Folayo, TVC News, Abuja.